Hey there, Legal Eagles. If you're a law student looking for some captivating and educational movies, you're in the right place. Today, we're counting down the top 10 best legal films that every law student should watch. On the basis of sex, there are 178 laws that differentiate on the basis of sex. Women can't work overtime. We have to get credit cards in our husband's name. We're not allowed to work. Coming in at number 10, we have the captivating biopic on the basis of sex, which provides a fascinating glimpse into the remarkable life of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This film delves into the early years of Justice Ginsburg's career highlighting her time in law school and her groundbreaking gender discrimination lawsuit. So they're gonna give you a corner office? I wasn't what they were looking for. One said women are too emotional to be lawyers. Another told me a woman graduating top of her class must be a real ball buster. With a focus on a young lawyer finding her voice, on the basis of sex offers an inspiring narrative that resonates strongly with law students. The Paper Chase. All that stuff about grades is true. You gotta work like hell. At number 9, we have The Paper Chase, a classic legal drama that offers a glimpse into the intense world of law school. If you haven't had the chance to read the book, the film adaptation is a great alternative, running at a digestible 113 minutes. This movie follows the journey of a first-year law student, James Hart, as he navigates the challenging academic environment of Harvard Law School. Loudly, Mr. Hart. Fill this room with your intelligence. I haven't read the case. The film's central focus on Hart's complex relationship with his enigmatic professor and his daughter provides a compelling narrative that is sure to resonate with many law students. Additionally, the paper chase features several scenes that portray the familiar and often intimidating Socratic method that is a staple of legal education. Loving. In here? Richie! What you doing in bed with that woman? I'm his wife. That's no good here. Coming in at number eight, we have the critically acclaimed 2016 film Loving, directed by Jeff Nichols. This powerful drama is based on the real-life story of Richard and Mildred Loving, a couple whose arrest for their interracial marriage in 1958 sparked a groundbreaking legal battle. The Loving's fight for justice and equality eventually reached the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court of the United States, in the landmark case Loving v. Virginia. You realize this case could alter the Constitution of the United States. You think you'll lose? We may lose a small battle. But win the big war. By watching Loving, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the personal sacrifices, challenges, and triumphs involved in shaping the course of civil rights and the fight against racial discrimination. The client. They're taking me to jail! Well done! If you get anywhere near my client again without my permission, I'm gonna sue you and the FBI for civil rights violations. Moving on to number seven, we have the thrilling legal drama The Client. Based on the best-selling novel by John Grisham, this film takes us on a gripping journey as a young boy, Mark Sway, becomes entangled in a dangerous web of secrets and conspiracies after witnessing a high-profile crime. With the authorities and a ruthless prosecutor on his trail, Mark seeks the help of a dedicated lawyer, Reggie Love, to protect him and unravel the truth. Ah, uh, outside the presence of his mother? No, no, definitely not. Don't need a lawyer. What for? To protect my rights. The client showcases the complexities of the legal system, the power dynamics between attorneys and their clients, and the importance of trust and loyalty. This riveting film will keep you on the edge of your seat as you join Mark and Reggie in their race against time. 13. The states were required to keep these prisons filled even if nobody was committing a crime. It's so difficult to talk about mass incarceration. Coming in at number six, we have the powerful documentary 13th, directed by Ava DuVernay. This thought-provoking film explores the deep-rooted issues surrounding race, mass incarceration, and the criminal justice system in the United States. The title, 13th, refers to the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which abolished slavery but included a clause allowing involuntary servitude as punishment for a crime. Animals, beasts, that needed to be controlled. You better believe it. I'm only human. 
through a combination of archival footage, interviews, and insightful analysis, 13th sheds light on the systemic racism and injustices that persist in America's criminal justice system. Into the Abyss this was the vehicle that Michael Perry and Jason Burkett was after. Three people died for this car. Moving on to number five, we have the gripping documentary Into the Abyss. Directed by acclaimed filmmaker Werner Herzog, this thought-provoking film takes a profound and unflinching look into the lives of individuals on death row and the impact of their crimes on themselves and society as a whole. Into the Abyss goes beyond the typical legal narratives and delves into the moral and existential questions surrounding capital punishment. My son, they never had a chance. You did how many executions? They was over 125. I can't do no more. I'm done. Through interviews with the convicted, their families, and those affected by their actions, Herzog presents a deeply human exploration of the consequences of violent crimes and the complex web of circumstances that lead individuals down destructive paths. Marshall. You gentlemen are making a big mistake. This here is Mr. Thurgood Marshall. Man is an attorney. You In Marshall, Chadwick Boseman delivers a captivating performance as Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. The film focuses on one pivotal case early in Marshall's career when he was still an attorney for the NAACP. Set in the 1940s, the plot follows Marshall as he teams up with a young Jewish lawyer, played by Josh Gad, to defend a black chauffeur accused of assaulting a wealthy socialite. Facing racial prejudice in an unfriendly courtroom. He attacked me! I'd advise him to accept the deal. You lied in a sworn statement. Why would you do that? Why'd I lie? Because the truth gets me. Marshall and his colleague fight against all odds to secure justice for their client. Marshall offers a compelling portrayal of Marshall's early legal career and his unwavering dedication to fighting for civil rights, shedding light on an important chapter in American history. Aaron Brockovich Smart, I'm hardworking and I'll do anything and I'm not leaving here without a job. Don't make me beg. Coming in at number three, we have the compelling true story of Aaron Brockovich. This legal drama follows the determined and tenacious Saren Brockovich, played by Julia Roberts, as she takes on a powerful corporation accused of contaminating the water supply of a small town. With no formal legal training but armed with a relentless pursuit of justice, Aaron works tirelessly to uncover the truth, fighting against all odds to bring justice to the affected community. You're emotional, you're erratic, you make this personal, and it isn't. That is my work, my sweat, my time away from my kids. If that's not personal, I don't know what... Aaron Brockovich is a powerful portrayal of the impact one individual can make in the face of corporate negligence and environmental injustice. The film showcases the importance of advocacy, investigative skills, and the relentless pursuit of truth in the field of law. 12 Angry Men I don't understand you people. I mean all these picky little points you keep bringing up, they don't mean nothing. 12 Angry Men is a 1957 classic film that revolves around the deliberations of a jury in a murder trial. The story begins with 12 jurors gathering in a small room to determine the fate of a young man accused of killing his father. Initially, the majority of the jurors are convinced of the defendant's guilt, but one juror played by Henry Fonda has doubts and votes not guilty. What's the matter with you guys? You're letting them slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? Through compelling performances and masterful storytelling, the film raises thought-provoking questions about justice, prejudice, and the importance of the legal system in upholding fairness. Michael Clayton of one of the largest, most respected law firms in the world. You are a legend. I'm an accomplice! You're a manic depressive. I am Shiva, the god of death. Released in 2007, Michael Clayton is a critically acclaimed legal thriller directed by Tony Gilroy. The film stars George Clooney in the title role, alongside a stellar ensemble cast including Tilda Swinton, Tom Wilkinson, and Sidney Pollack. 
Set in the world of high-stakes corporate law, the story revolves around Clayton, a fixer employed by a powerful law firm to clean up their clients' messes. However, when one of the firm's top litigators suffers a breakdown while representing a chemical company accused of environmental pollution, Clayton finds himself drawn into a web of deception, corruption, and moral dilemmas. In the car, lock the door. What would they do if he went public? Arthur, open the door. What would they do? That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.